So you guys are probably wondering, well, where the heck have I been? Well, it's been very hard trying to get back into school and stuff. Been very busy. Went on a pretty long vacation. Been working on some other little things, but I finally got a little bit of free time today just to make a little video. So this is my HP Mini 210. I know you've seen videos about that, but I've tried a variety of operating systems on here. And I've got a pretty interesting one running. So we'll go ahead and open it up here and see what it is. I've got an external mouse connected, so I don't have to reach around the tripod and be flinging it at. Let's see what's running on here. Oh crap. I've got it, it was dead. Let me grab the charger. Okay, now that was a little embarrassing. Now let's fire it up. So let's see here. Pro product information not valid. I still don't know why it says that. Yeah, yeah, module not found. Oh, what is this? This happened to be an apple. Why yes, it is. I have Mac OS 10. <laughs> lost my words. I have Mac OS 10.6.2 running right now. I do have Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard running on this computer. So I did this using a Hackintosh distro called iatkos. I A T K O S. Now, if you decide to use this, just keep in mind that you actually have to pay to get their Mavericks and Yosemite versions just uh, for you to keep in mind there but anything um, Mountain Lion and below is free and I managed to get Snow Leopard running on here but anyways you saw there as a pretty good boot time we're gonna go into about this Mac here and we have Mac OS S X version 10.6.3 Processor 1.67 gigahertz unknown, which is actually the Intel Atom, and memory 1 gigabyte, 800 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM. Now, I remember in my video where I replaced the motherboard in this computer, I said it used DDR3. When I showed a little specs up on the screen, and yes, I know I was wrong. I apologize for any confusion or inconvenience I caused from that, like somebody ordered the wrong type of RAM. That wouldn't be good. Alright, let's see here. More info. Model name, MacBook, model identifier, MacBook 4, comma 1, process speed, number of processors 1, total number of cores 1, L2 cache, 512 kilobytes, pretty much your normal stuff. Now, while I do have it pretty much working, a couple things I have not got working internet of course and I don't have Wi-Fi and I can't get it to work over Ethernet either which I think I could probably get multi beast on here and get that to work um graphics I don't have graphics at the moment the graphics chip in this computer is not supported and well really that's all I can think of even the sound works I can even use the sound buttons on here to adjust the volume I don't know if you can see that or not. There it goes. This camera is awful at focusing. As you can see, the sound works fine. The brightness buttons adjust the brightness too. It won't show it on the screen, but it does adjust the brightness. And I really should have kept it there, and then maybe you could have seen it better on the camera. As you can obviously already see on the camera, this screen has a very low refresh rate. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. But first, let's shut this down. Until next time.